good morning everyone uh, today i am going to discuss topic which is known as energy resources and in this energy resources topic we are going to discuss first part in first part energy and then uh, in second part we are going to discuss conventional energy resources and in next part we are going to discuss alternative energy resources so as you know myself vivek kumar pathak and i am working as a assistant professor in department of mechanical engineering at kaid group of kaid group of institution gaziabad so uh, here we are going to start with energy resources and first we are going to uh, start with energy so these are the content which are going to cover first source of energy so first we are going to discuss what are the major sources of energy then how our uses of energy has changed in time then energy use to what purpose energy is used for then we are going to discuss challenges what major challenges we are going to face right now okay so now these are the sources of energy basically nature is the a uh, basic or prime source of all these energies so you can say energy is movement first we know what is energy so energy is the movement or possibility of creating movement exists as potential and kinetic forms so you can say energy can exist in is, is in stored form as well as in kinetic form okay and the conversion of potential to kinetic energy so we can say energy is uh, transferred from one phase one form to another form okay so you also know energy neither be created nor destroyed but it can transform from one phase to another phase okay so movement states you can say ordered mechanical energy or disordered you can say thermal energy so these two type of energy basically we used ordered and disordered temperature can be perceived as a level of disordered energy then major tendency is to move from order to disorder disorder it means entropy okay randomness so you can say entropy it means uh, randomness involves in the system importance now Uh, energy importance human activities are dependent on the uses of several forms and sources of energy energy demands like increased with economic development the world's power consumption is about 12 trillion uh, watts in a year okay uh, by using all the fossil fuels so basically there are two types of energy first one is your non renewable energy and second one is your renewable energy so non renewable renewable energy it means we cannot renew it okay if it exhaust or it completely consume once in a time it may take a long or you can say much more time to generate same energy okay so this is non renewable and renewable it means you can renew that energy again and again okay so this is called renewable energy in non renewable energy basically two type of energy chemical and nuclear chemical we include fossil fuels combustion type like we uh, we can burn that fuel and produce the energy and nuclear uranium uh, fossil of atoms so uranium u uh, uranium fission of atoms this is also considered as a non renewable energy now in renewable energy we are classified chemical nuclear gravity indirect solar and direct solar okay so chemical muscular oxidation it means uh, from that substance which oxidizes produces the energy is considered in a chemical energy or renewable energy nuclear nuclear here we consider two types first geothermal and second fusion fusion of hydrogen okay so geothermal energy is stored in the earth below the earth you can say and this energy it you it utilize and transform to the uh, transform for producing the power gravity like tidal energy hydraulic energy indirect solar it means we are using biomass wind to so biomass uh, by the help of photosynthesis we are uh, 
uh, utilizing that energy and wind it means we are creating pressure difference and that pressure difference create winds and this wind uh, this wind energy is utilized for producing the power then direct solar direct solar it means we are using the sunlight or sun heat and this is directly uh, converting heat from solar to electrical by using photovoltaic cell okay the principle of photovoltaic cell now uh, this is the chemical energy content of some fuels uh, and unit considered in mega joule per uh, kilogram you can see there are different type of uh, uh, energy content like wood coal crude oil kerosene ethanol methanol methane natural gas gasoline hydrogen so you can see you can observe hydrogen as a major content of source of energy chemical energy now sources of energy first we are going to discuss energy transition energy trans transition it means energy transfer from one position or one form to another form you can say shift in the source of energy that satisfy the needs of economy as well as society linked with economic and technological de uh, development linked with availability or uh, remaining energy sources linked with uh, you can say it from low efficiency to high efficiency and from uh, you can say energy transition can form uh, from uh, we can get this energy from solid liquid and then gases so solid liquid and gases all all are categorized like uh, wood coal oil natural gas and hydrogen then come to evolution of energy sources so these are the energy sources and uh, in different centuries energy sources consumption are occurred so th by this uh, graph you can easily understand what happened and uh, here in right side you can see different type of energy sources like animal biomass coal oil natural gas etc so total world electricity generation by power of fuel 2002 you can see uh, 40% of energy uh, or you can say electricity generation by the help of coal only coal and then 19% of energy generation is produced by natural gases and remaining etc okay so you can see and you can visualize how much coal is important for generating electricity up to 2002 now energy sources uh, according to researcher uh, dr hubbard speak uh, geologist which who predicted in 1950s that oil production in the united states would peak in the early 1970s okay and uh, us oil production peaked in 1973 so assumption on finite resources as he suggested so production starts at zero production then rises so curve like this okay production start at zero then uh, it rises to peak which can never be surpassed then peak estimated around 2004 to 2008 it was estimated by hubbards then uh, once the peak has been passed production declines until the resource is depleted it means you can see you can assume the chart like this the flow like this okay at zero then maximum then again zero okay then you can see the chart and the actual and predicted world annual oil production okay so uh, red line shows actual production uh, and uh, green or blue line shows uh, predicted production okay now energy use you can say energy uh, converting to the converting to the work and energy provides work so this is the modification work modify into appropriate or processing and then transfer okay so it you can say it transform from one phase to another phase another form okay so you also know it creating more work performed by machines and the uses of even more energy so these are the energy use we can utilize energy in the form of modification of the environment appropriation and processing transfer okay so more uh, in the modification of environment you can see here there are different type of modification i just uh, 
uh, read for you uh, one or two like uh, making a space suitable for human activities uh, clearing land and agriculture and etc then appropriate and processing extraction of resources extraction of resources includes like agriculture products raw materials with mo modify from one phase to another then transfer it means you can say movements of freight people and information attenuate the spatial inequalities in the location of resources by overcoming distances okay now these are the challenges which we are going to face a current scenario like uh, energy supply then energy demand and the environment we are going to face uh, uh, the energy supply as we are in this phase that uh, coal petroleum natural gases are in abundant in nature okay so, and we are utilizing more and more so at at a particular time you can say the uh, amount of these sources are zero or ultimate goes to zero okay so we have to uh, change the resources or change the energy resources we have to think about it and so we are going to study renewable energy resources so these are the challenges like energy supply energy demand and environment you can say energy demand like transportation day by day more requirement of energy demand industrial processes each and every work we need uh, energy and appliances uh, in our home uh, we are using different type of energy resources like a simple example we are using bulb okay uh, we are using uh, uh, you can say refrigerator we are using air conditioner we are using fan all these are required energy sources okay 